Heather Happy Garagers. It is uh, your hopefully soon to be favorite freighter hater. So I got the, uh, well, I'm super late. Everybody's talking about pliers now, and I'm stuck on these stupid ratchets, but I'm going to see this through. Anyway, so I got the, uh, the icon and the snap on ratchet. And and this is what you get. You get the snap on. You know there is a difference, and as you can see by the number of parts and the icon. Uh, what 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 are we gonna call that? Quality tools at the lowest prices. So what is the difference? Well, this uh, this backing plate. We're, we're gonna go by how you take the ratchet apart. It's got a couple of screws in it. There, just little screws. The icon is a T8 head, but I think the threads are the same. And the snap-on has a T10 head. It's a little bit longer screw. And uh, they, for the price, they uh, put Loctite on the screws. So that's nice. There was no Loctite on these screws. Uh, not that it makes a huge difference. And then the uh, the plate, you can get this plate off. Do not immerse in fluids. And this was a good opportunity to clean out my old snap-on ratchet. This is a well-used ratchet, as you can see. Not my favorite ratchet, but that'll be another uh, episode. Anyway, yep, do not immerse in fluids. Everything uh, sizable-wise, as far as these plates go, is similar profile, similar thickness. The snap-on plate does have a little recess machined into it. That is for a seal that's that's on the drive itself. This drive is a, a gear and snap-on has a seal. It's, it's mostly just to keep dust and dirt from getting into it. It will allow fluid into it. Uh, it just keeps the, the large crap out. No seal on the icon. So there's going to be a price difference there, both in the machining of the plate and then the addition of this, the seal. Uh, moving on. A gear is a gear, right? Except, except the gears here are different. Uh, you can tell that's a little thinner and that's thicker. Uh, that The reason for that is is this Chinese steel, this Taiwanese steel, it is not as strong as the North American ore. It just doesn't have the strength so they have to make it thicker. So we're not going to throw demerit that uh, uh, at snap-on for making it thinner it's thinner because it can be because the North American ore is better than the Chinese ore so that's why they will have to you know beef this up a little bit uh, just to get the same strength and then diameter wise they are pretty similar and while I have these side by side you can see another difference in this drive and that's the teeth they're both I don't know, they're both 90 tooth. I don't know what the snap-on tooth count is. I could look it up before I go make a video, but I didn't. So you can see, even on the camera, I was going to try and find a way to measure it. But the camera shows it pretty well. The teeth on the snap-on gear are uh, far deeper than the teeth on the Icon gear. There's going to be more bite in this ratchet. It's going to going to grip a lot better and not be as prone to slipping as prone as the icon now you might argue that oh well they got more width so they've been this that's not how things work the the width uh, over that little bit it might be two mil maybe one mil uh, over the quality material, let's see, 
Uh, we'll give it a mil and a half, two mil. Uh, yeah, that width over the quality of material. Uh, that being, this one being Chinese ore, it's just not going to be as strong. These, these little, uh, these little paws, the ratcheting paws, right? They're both steel. I'm not going to call this out as being centered metal or anything. That's, uh, that's steel. Again, it is the Chinese ore, and it's not going to be as strong. Uh, just the nature of things. This is facts. It's not, I'm not bashing anybody, so they would have had to make it this much bigger to get the same strength. Now, Snap-on did something different with two, and you can argue, well, this one's got more teeth engaged. No, no, because the way these work, only half of these... It kind of toggles back and forth, uh, like so. So, yeah, th they both have roughly, even though this is a two-piece design, they both have roughly the same amount of teeth engaged forward and reverse. But the Icon has uh, much slimmer teeth, as you see on the gear. And once again, on the little uh, ratcheting pole, just they're they're almost non-existent compared to uh, these ones that this could be formed or stamped but either way I mean, you see the difference this is a very nice uh, made part this one is a made part I mean they made it quality looks okay and the, but the only, so even this bit, which does the switching, Snap-on uses a, sort of a two-piece. So on both the Snap-on and the Icon, the switch is, pot, is a cast, like you would see on the Hot Wheels. It's just cast metal. They both do have a little seal, little O-ring seal but both full cast. This piece, which I thought maybe was cast or, or centered or something, it is, uh, once again, it's steel. It's a steel piece. So, a very well-made ratchet, and they're both, this is tolerable. The, the, the machining on the, on the body, I'm gonna call it the body, I mean, it's not awful. It's a little gouged in there. And you can catch it on your fingernail. So, maybe a little more slop. Either way, I don't see this gripping as good f for as long as, as a, you know, a, I'm going to say the snap-on ratchet for right now because it's right in front of us. But again, very it's it's well machined. There are you can see some of the machine marks, and you can see the wear where I've used it. I can uh, catch my nail on the grooves, and that's it's because when this is engaged, uh, when you press on the ratchet, it's actually pushing itself. That gear pushes itself into the body, so the hardness of this body will also matter and let's they both work the same they work the same way they got different parts uh, what I've seen happen on these is uh, I mean these crack and that's how they go bad and what happens is uh, when my snap on the ratchet doesn't feel very good anymore you know it's clean but it kind of skips on the ratcheting part um, Pretty sure all of this here is a rebuild kit. They will just rebuild it. Uh, they might check the wear in there, and if they rebuild it and it still feels wonky, they just replace it. Whereas when you go to Harbor Freight, they are going to take your ratchet and chunk it and give you a new one. It's, it sounds fine, but 
but as you can see I've, I've worn this quite comfortably so I, as long as this is good I, I would like to keep it and it, it feeds into the, the whole like throw away everything's throw away so yeah this one they're just gonna take it from you and go yep it doesn't work you know as long as you show your receipt or have an inside track club you know yeah yep chunk it where's this one you know your snap-on dealer is gonna say okay yeah well let's rebuild it see what how it goes the other reason these are uh, more expensive it's like I've said before and they both are probably the same way the snap-on is marked up twice before you see it so you'd like to think you're getting it directly from snap-on if that were the case then uh, it may be a little bit cheaper but both of these uh, take steps and add their cost so this comes from snap-on and then it goes to a distributor and will distributor they also have overhead employees and stuff uh, they like to make money so they they mark it up to the uh, franchisee yeah franchisee uh, and he he ultimately uh, marks it up because he's got to make money too. everybody you know each step it takes it's gonna make money and it's the same with this you know Harbor Freight ain't buying this directly from the factory in China they are uh, they're getting it or maybe they're ordering it and then there's a maybe a Harbor Freight licensed warehouse and they got to make money so then and that goes out to the stores so that, I mean that's how it works you can't hate it it's how things work but anyway that is the uh, breakdown of a ratchet I do have my favorite ratchet with me this weekend so I'm gonna take it apart clean it and compare it to the uh, the gear wrench which I think is you know the a good copy of, of that ratchet oh yeah the other thing uh, I don't like how much this switch sticks out and then I noticed on my snap-on this one sticks out a little bit as well uh, not, not quite as much but yeah that's what I got for you happy garaging everyone